Hello everyone, this is Dr. E and for today, pag-uusapan naman natin kung paano tayo magsulat ng mga quadratic function gamit naman ang table of values ng ating parabola. Sa mga past lessons natin, natutunan na natin kung paano magsulat ng ating mga quadratic functions given the information na provided sa atin ng ating parabola. Minsan, binibigyan tayo ng vertex at ng point. Minsan, binibigyan naman tayo ng mga solutions ng ating quadratic function. And for today naman, ay bibigyan naman tayo ng kakaibang clue dahil ang clue na makikita natin ay ang table of values na nakikita nyo ngayon. So, ang mapapansin ninyo yung ating uh, quadratic function ay in table form at kailangan daw nating isulat yung uh, general formula or yung standard equation ng ating quadratic function gamit ang mga clues na meron tayo sa ngayon. So, ang points na meron tayo, meron tayong 1, 2, 3, 4 points 0, 1, 1, 3, 2, 7, and 3, 13. At sa pag-analyze ng mga points na yan, ang clue na dapat niyong tandaan ay uunahin niyo lagi yung mga zero values or yung meron tayong ordered pairs na kung saan yung x or yung y ay equal to zero. And in this particular case, pipiliin natin yung unang point which is with, I mean, unang pair, which is at 0, 1, at yan yung magsisilbi nating reference point para makuha natin yung quadratic equation in standard form. So, yan yung nakikita ninyong standard form ng quadratics, ax squared plus bx plus c, at ipuproduce natin yan by looking for the values of a, b, and X. So, yun yung mga letters na hahanapin natin base sa mga clues na meron tayo at gagamitan natin ito ng uh, systems of linear equations na makikita ninyo in a little while. So, sa ngayon, nakikita nyo na meron tayong point A na ginamit which is at 0 and 1. So, kung uh, gagamitin natin yung point na yan, yung point A ay equal to 0 and 1 at kailangan daw natin gamitin yung ax squared plus bx plus c, what we can do is replace the value of x and y by 0 and 1 at tingnan kung ano sa mga letters ang pwede nating makuha mula dito sa ating equation. So 1 is pwede kay y at si ax squared ay magiging a 0 squared dahil si x ay equal to 0 plus b times 0 plus the constant c. At mapapansin natin na itong dalawang ito will turn into 0 dahil a 0 multiplied to any constant will equal to 0. So ang matitira sa atin ay 1 equals 0 plus 0 plus c. Therefore, c is equal to 1. At nahanap na natin yung isa sa mga letters na kailangan nating isolve mula dun sa clue na meron tayo. So by substituting the value of x, which is 0, and substituting the value of y, which is 1, makukuha natin yung isa sa mga letters na hinahanap natin, which is at this point, 1 is equal to c. So now that we have the first letter of our uh, formula mula dun sa ating standard form, gamitin naman natin yung second point at pinili ko yung second point na yan dahil meron tayong um, pair na equal to 1. So, ang technique ko dito, kapag pumipili ako ng mga points, pinipili ko yung mga maliliit na numbers para mas madali siyang i-manipulate kapag ka tinry natin isolve yung ating mga constants. So, in this case, point B is equal to 1, 3. Gagamitin ulit natin yung ating standard equation at i-replace -re natin yung value ng x with 1 this time. At doon naman sa value ng y, i-replace -re natin yan with 3 Kaya magkakaroon tayo ngayon ng new equation na kung saan yung ating point na ginamit which is at 1 and 3. So, yan yung ating point B, 1 and 3, not 1 and 13, 1 and 3. And then this will be our x and this is our y given by y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. This time, si y ay magiging 3. At si x ay magiging 1, at re-replace lang natin siya, and by simplifying our expression or equation, we'll have 3 equals a times 1 plus b times 1 plus c. At alam natin na 
A times 1 is simply A and B times 1 is simply B. At alam natin na si letter C na nakikita nyo dyan sa ating uh, equation, C is equal to 1. Papaltan natin yan ng 1. And by doing so, we'll be able to have a new expression which is at 2 equals to A plus B. At ito yung magiging equation natin sa ating uh, linear system na gagamitin para masolve natin yung ilan sa mga letters na kailangan natin kunin. So by substitution, huwag kayong masyadong ma-stress. Kung uh, walang isang letter kayong nahanap, dahil nahanap natin ngayon sa si letter B at si letter C, but in this particular case, nung pinili natin si point B, ang nakuha natin ay expression which is 2 equals A plus B. At ito yung gagamitin natin para sa linear system natin sa susunod. So between 2 and 7 and 3 and 13, you can either choose any of them at makukuha nyo pa rin yung sagot ninyo para sa problem na ito. But this time, syempre, kukunin ko yung mas maliit na pares which is 2 and 7. And by doing so, tulad ng ginawa ko kanina, papaltan ko yung value ng aking uh, x with 2. So si x squared at saka si x magiging 2 na yan, at si y naman ay magiging 7, kaya ang new equation natin is 7 equals a quantity 2 squared plus b times 2 plus c, and 2 squared is equal to 4, at alam natin na si c ay equal to 1, so ang new function natin by getting rid of the constant c from the right side of the equation will have 4a and 2b equals Six. So ngayon ay may mapapansin kayo na pwede natin ngayong gamitin yung skill natin ng solving linear system para makuha natin yung variables natin na hinahanap which is A and B. So by doing so, tanggalin muna natin yan, linisin natin yung ating board at mag-focus tayo dun sa ating dalawang equations na, 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 na nahanap mula doon sa ating point B and point C. So, dito, pwede na natin gamitin yung uh, elimination method sa system of linear equation. At to do that, gagawin natin is bumultiply natin si line 1, which is 2 equals A plus B, by multiplying it with negative 2. And by doing so, pwede nating ma-eliminate si B dahil pagka dinistribute natin si negative 2 sa ating equation, our new equation will become negative 4 equals negative 2A minus B. So ito ngayon yung ating uh, new equation by multiplying the constant negative 2 doon sa ating uh, first equation para sa gayon si 6 equals 4A plus 2B ay uh, magagamit natin by system of elimination to change, no, mabubura na natin or matatanggal, eliminate. We're going to be eliminating the variable b or the constant b in this particular problem dahil negative 2b plus 2b is equal to 0. At ang matitira na lang sa atin is negative 4 plus 6 and negative 2a plus 4a, which will give us 2 equals 2a. Now, since ang ating uh, a variable ay pwede natin makuha by dividing both sides by 2, nakuha na natin ngayon yung ating second letter na hinahanap mula dun sa standard form natin na ax squared plus bx plus c. So, ang hahanapin na lang natin is yung ating b constant. And how are we going to find that value? Pili tayo dun sa tatlong equations na meron tayo ngayon, actually apat, kung lalagay natin si 1 equal to C, pero among 2 equals A plus B, 6 equals 4A plus 2B, at saka uh, negative 4 equals 2, negative 2A minus 2B, lahat yan pwede nyo gamitin para makuha yung B na hinahanap natin, pero kung pipili tayo ng pinakamadaling equation na paglaruan, hindi yung puso, pero yung equation, si 2 equals A plus B ang gagalawin natin. And by doing so, alam na natin yung value ng A, which is 1. Pwede na natin makuha yung value ng B dahil by replacing A, which is 1, makukuha na natin by subtracting 1 on both sides, yung constant B natin na equal to 1. And therefore, tapos na tayo nahanapin yung mga values na kailangan natin. So, meron tayo ngayong 
1 equals a, 1 equals b, and 1 equals c, and by using the standard equation of our parabola, which is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, pwede na natin mahanap yung ating equation. So from y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, change natin yung a, which is 1, change natin yung b, which is also 1, at change natin to c, which is, yes, also 1, and by simplifying our equation, we'll have y equals x, x squared plus x plus 1. At ito ngayon, yung ating quadratic equation in standard form given by the clues na meron tayo. At kung mapapansin nyo na lahat ng values natin ay equal to 1, nagkataon lang yan, hindi sa lahat ng pagkakataon ay a, b, c, will be equal to a single number. So, yung ating function, however, this time, I equal to x squared plus x plus 1. Now, if you want to verify your equation to see if tama yung sagot ninyo, tingnan ninyo yung mga points or clues na meron tayo at gagamitin natin yan to check kung tama yung equation na na-formulate natin, which is y equals x squared plus x plus 1. So, meron tayong 0, 1, 1, 3, 2, 7, and 3, 13. And by using decimals, we'll be able to plot those points. At ang mapapansin nyo, parang nagpo-form nga siyang parabola, pero alam natin na magiging tama ang sagot natin kung yung equation na ilalagay natin dito ay tutugma at lalapat dyan sa mga butas natin na yan. So let's try plugging in our quadratic function. So hindi pa siya mag Kalapat dahil x squared pa lang yan. Dagdagan natin ng plus x, lumalapit na siya. At mas lalapit pa siya kung kukompletuhin natin yung ating equation. So mapapansin ninyo na lapat na lapat ang ating parabola sa mga butas na nilagay natin or mga holes or yung ating mga dots dito sa ating equation dahil tama yung sagot natin mula doon sa ating system of linear equation na na-formulate kanina at alam na natin ngayon na yung ating quadratic equation ay may function na x squared plus x plus 1 mula doon sa ginawa nating process a while ago. So, ganyan lang kasimple yung ating pag-solve ng ating mga functions. So, ang uh, technique dyan is 1, look for zeros ng ating uh, um, table of values, use that for your reference point, and then Pili na kayo ng uh, at least dalawang mas maliliit na values para makuha ninyo yung inyong B and C or A, B and C. Depende sa itsura ng clues na ibibigay sa atin. And speaking of clues, ito naman ngayon ang aking ibibigay sa inyo for today. Our number bender challenge would be to write your standard form ng quadratic equation natin given by this table of values na nakikita ninyo ngayon. Ayan, ayan siya. So, uh, clue, unahin nyo si 0, 2, and then si 1, 3. And then, pili na kayo kung gusto nyo si negative 2, 6 or 2, 6 sa pagkuha ng inyong third equation. So, yan ang ating lesson at ang ating uh, challenge for today. Tingnan natin kung sino sa inyo ang mga kakasa sa challenge. Write down and comment it down below and tingnan natin kung magiging tama ang equation na hahanapin natin. So, sa pagkuha ng ating uh, equation gamit ang mga clues natin, which is this time, yung table of values, kailangan natin gamitin yung standard form na y equals ax squared plus bx plus c at ang goal ay mahanap natin si a, b, and c by plugging it into our standard form and using system of linear equation and by elimination method or substitution method kung saan kayo comfortable or pwede nyo rin gamitin yung Kramer's rule if you want to change it into a matrix at for sure, makukuha ninyo yung inyong mga sagot gamit si Desmos to verify na tama ang mga practice exercises na ginagawa ninyo. This is Dr. E and see you again next time. Bye!